viewers once more again i want to welcome you to saseni media production that hosts a program youngsters my name is joe bongera today we want to cover a very young talented daughter or lady by the name nadia mtambo nadia mtambo welcome to the show thank you very much thank you very much how old are you nadia nine years old nine years old yes nadia yes you told me that you're writing a book yes what is the title of the book the magic pillow why the magic pillow for the benefit of our viewers because when you sleep on a pillow you feel like writing something about it yeah now that's what came to my mind mm -hmm. that convinced me to write a book about it mm -hmm. yes so besides you being an author mm -hmm. we have found ourselves in the midst of the change of a new curriculum yes now you are doing the cbc yes when the government brought this cbc yes. we need to identify our teachers need to identify yes young children mm. with their talents yes what are you talented in apart from being an author um in uh, drawing you drawing yeah i can see you've done exemplarily well in drawing yes nadia wangare mtambo yes which school are you by the way our lady of mercy our lady of mercy where is it located in south b who is your teacher teacher caroline she's the best teacher in the entire country yes how is she by the way give a description of teacher carol she's really kind yes and she even teaches me to how to read she's <laughs> the one who makes me know how to read so i can write a book yes you're speaking good english but we will come back to that yes who is this that you drew here my grandmother if the cameraman can zoom and get this caption this is nadia's grandmother and exactly if you meet nadia uh, nadia's grandmother somewhere this is exactly how she looks this is more than a talent and yes. who is this here my grandfather this is also the grandfather yes and the angel yes i can see the angel something here yes all right so nadia this, this. how old are you nine years old nine years old yes nine years old and you're doing wonders yes you've written a book mm -hmm. titled yes the magical pillow, pillow. Mm -hmm. you are an artist yes. you know how to draw very well yes and you're in class two when i open school i'm in three you will be in grade three yes wonderful this is exemplarily talented nadia yes you look very sharp yes definitely you are yes and we want to recommend your teacher teacher caroline wherever yes. she is she must be very proud of you yes when you grow up nadia yes. what do you want to become a doctor who owns her, her own hospital you not only want to become a doctor but you want to own an hospital yes why why nadia because yes. and to make a better hospital mm -hmm. and to be the owner of the hospital yes. so i can make it good you offer good services yes it's all watching you outside there nadia yes three years old mm. which is that one thing that you could want parents to do for those kids um if <laughs> i'd like them to convince them yeah. to focus on their studies yes and even they can make a storybook they can make a storybook yes now you are on fella children mm. at the age of nine or mm. ages at let's say age mates yes. nine to 12 years yes what could you tell them to do to their parents if you have inside you have told the parents to hatch them so mm. that they can also become better tomorrow citizens um i'd like them yeah to <clears throat> at least surprise their parents yeah and focus more on their educational and i'd like them to even they can even write a book but different from mine yeah and i'd like them to know two languages kiswahili and english those are the two official languages in kenya yes that's what you're encouraging them yes apart from drawing and writing a book mm. what else do you do what are your hobbies my hobbies yes 
um, helping to do work. Yeah. Like helping my grandmother to go pick eggs from the chicken. Uh -huh. And I even sp stay with the dog there. I yeah. take it to the house. Yes. Then sometimes I even mop the floor. Yes. So you help in household jobs? Yes. And you said that you normally go and collect eggs from uh, yeah. for yes. your grandma. Yes. So she's a poultry farmer too? Yes. Now, at your leisure time, mm. when you are not busy in school, mm. how do you relate with your parents? With my parents? Yes. I sometimes yes. I sit with them, mm -hmm. we talk about what I'm, how I'm doing in school. Yes. And what maybe is disturbing me what is disturbing you so in essence you open up to your parents yes and tell them where you're not feeling okay yes and where you're doing great yes and between your dad and your mom who is good um both both of them are good for you yes you so free with them yes. discuss everything with them yes wow that's incredible an idea yes now next year you will be in grade three yes which position were you in this term? Um, they want positioning. Yeah. It was just marks. So I got excellent. Excellent? Yes. Nowadays um, that ranking was abolished. Yes. Oh, that's great. Yes. Besides you becoming a doctor, there mm. must be that one thing that made you mm. think like you will be a doctor and mm. own your own hospital. It's that, yeah. like when I go to the hospital, yes. I think that they do hard work. <laughs> and as me, I want to do hard work too. Yeah. Yes. Now it's on holiday. Yes. You've come to pay you a visit to your grandparents. Yes. Besides you helping them, mm. do you find time to study? Yes. A lot. A lot? Yes. Who helps you do your homework? My homework? Yes. No, and I just do it how I know. Yes. So, I I know the teacher has, can't teach us, yeah. can't give us homework yeah. that she hasn't taught us. So, I know that the questions are easy, yeah. that I can answer them. Be I don't need help. Because the teacher has already covered that kind of topic yes. before he or she gives you the homework. Yes. That's incredible from you. Yes. We want to wish you well, Nadia. Thank you very the much. The sky is the lower limit for you. Thank you. As bright as you look at class 3, that is BP, grade 3. Yes. Right? Yes. And already she has achieved much. She's an artist. She can draw exactly the way you are. She's on underway, actually writing a book that we have already given you the topic that is Magical Pillow. Yes. Right? Yes. And still she has more to achieve. That is quite superb. And when we talk about nurturing talents when they are at their tender age, exactly that is what the government is doing. And to the teacher who teaches, who handles Nadia in... Which school is that you told me once more again? Our Lady of Mercy. Our Lady of Mercy. Yes. Bravo. In any case, you want to feature young children or young people from your school, we will be there for you. We will come to where you are. And you, you feel you have an exemplary, something different than what Nadia is doing. An author, an artist, and probably outside there, you are a singer. You are talented. You can draw. You can drive. You can read. You can be a poet. Or you are an artist in whichever way. We can always ask that you contact us through the numbers that are rolling below or down on your screen so that we will catch up with you. This is a program like no any other by the name Youngsters. And it's always brought to you by Saseni Media Production. I was your host, Job Ongera. For Nadia, thank you very much. And Welcome. may God bless you abundantly. May God bless you too. Thank you very much. Welcome.